Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is up? It's Zar here. Today I'm back with another tutorial in Cinema 4D. Today we're going to learn the best render settings in Cinema 4D. This is going to give you the overall most realistic look in whatever you're rendering. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. So first of all, you want to start off by clicking the render settings. Go to output. And don't worry about the preset. This is my intro template that I made for myself. You don't need to worry about that. Make sure your width and height is 1280 by 720 pixels don't click anything other than pixels resolution I usually keep that as 72 and then if you scroll down make sure it's HDTV 16 9 personally that is my favorite and you don't really need to worry about the frame rate right now because we're not doing an intro we're doing a still image so you don't have to change anything about that so let's hop over to save now when you're in save save it where you want the location to save. After you do that, make sure it's in format PNG. PNG is probably the best there is. Also, make it 16 bit. It's going to give you a really nice, smooth, still image. And then we're going to hop down to Alpha Channel or Straight Alpha. Personally, I only use Alpha Channel. If you want to use Straight Alpha, that's going to be if you're only making a text and you want to put it on a background or so and you don't want anything other than a text in the picture then uh, check straight alpha right there go over to multipass keep that how it is anti alistating make it make sure this is best and then minimal level make it a one by one then the max level this goes by your computer speed if you have a really nice computer I recommend making it an 8.8 .8 or a 16 by 16 if you don't have that great of a computer that's that fast change that to a 2x2 two two or 4x4 four four. that still gives you really nice smooth uh, reflections and if we hop down let's go to filter make it cubic still image now options we're not going to really change anything if you want you could change ray depth down to like 5 personally I don't change anything in here uh, stereoscope don't change anything then what we're going to want to do is go to effect and you're going to add a global illumination after you add that you click it go to general click IRR slash QMC still image and then you go to diffuse to 100% 100% and then gamma make sure it's a 1.8 then we go to irritants cache we could set that to medium we can also set the next one to medium too least squares smoothing make sure it's medium Cash refinement, make sure it's none, and oversampling weak. And we go to the cache file, you keep that the same, and details, keep that the same too. And if any point in this video, if you need to pause it to copy down any numbers, feel fine to do so. And then what you want to do is once again go to effect, add an object glow. That's going to give it a nice little glow. Personally, I love it. And then once again, again, go to color correction and when, as soon as you add that the only thing I do change is saturation pull that up to about 30 to 60 percent your preference I love this because it gives it a nice sharper look you don't have to go and do that in Photoshop later because it's already going to be built in and then the last one you want to do is that effect ambient occlusion and what this does is it gives a really nice uh, light reflection and I love it and after you do all that you will probably have one of the cleanest color corrections and one of the cleanest render settings out there. I hope you liked my video. This is just going to be a quick and clean tutorial. And that's all I got to say, guys. If you want any more tutorials in Cinema 4D, Photoshop, Sony Vegas, send me a message. I will always respond. And I'll talk to you guys later. And I hope you have a great day. See ya.